Hey, hello my fellow YouTubers. It is still Wednesday, February 12th, 2.42 p.m. Denver time. Let's see what the great doctor has to say. First off, that fake, that whole fake she's got going now is here messed up. I'm tired. If you watch right after you're rubbing the old eyes and making sure you see it. <laughs> Playing his role. You know how we YouTubers got to do it. Those YouTubers. <clears throat> He's reaching, he's playing a CBC News report talking to a lady that is was aboard the uh, Princess Diamond cruise ship. And um, here, here's, how the, here's how this goes. Uh, they took all the passengers' temperatures, and then they also gave them questionnaires. Of course, they filled out the questionnaires. Uh, in the questionnaire, they've asked you if you've taken anything like Tylenol or Advil or any of that crap. And she says, yeah, she had taken Advil and Tylenol. So then he says, why would they come back and test her with the throat swab? Remember, he's a, he's a medical student. He's studying. You're going to come back, and they're asking that because they were taking fever reducers. So therefore, they could have had a low-grade fever and not been showing it before they took a fever reducer. But he's a medical student. He wouldn't know that. But he does. But he's got to do his fear porn now that he's hooked into all the YouTube truthers. He's got to put his bullshit to... And she also admitted on the CBC interview she had a mild cough. So you got a fever you're hiding with Advil and Tylenol. You're admitting to a cough. So, of course, they're going to do some further tests. Uh, talking about the CBC reporter, he's saying they should, not, uh, they should not be saying just coronavirus. They should be saying the Wuhan coronavirus. No, they should not. And he even says so. Why here in just a second? Uh, and he also says they should be treating her with the uh, the inhibitors. I've forgotten what the pro ace or whatever the hell it is. And he also says she should not be taking the pro, the inhibitors. I mean, <laughs> do such a joke. Uh, like I said, he's ragging on CB. He's ragging on the CBC reporter, and he's saying at the same time they should not be doing what she says she's not what she's not doing. I mean, give me a freaking break. <coughs> uh, Again, that's freaking, I feel so, so, I do, I feel bad, I feel sad, I feel depressed for them people, not just for them, but their families and their co-workers and everybody else. Uh, oh, another thing that the news put out, they said that the, 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 the passengers on that cruise ship might have to wait longer. Why? Because every time they get a new positive test for the coronavirus, that 14 days has to start over. Every time they get a new sick person, that quarantine has to start over. But they maybe they're going to start taking people off the ship now. But thousands of people, I, you know, where the hell are you going to put them? Every time somebody tests positive, that's got to start over. Uh, he says that the, the, her test for being positive in the coronavirus was found by accident. No, this dude's supposed to be a med student. It wasn't found by accident. They did their, they did their fever test. They did the questionnaire. She came back as saying her and her husband took fever reducers. It wasn't fun. That's why they came back. Hey, you're taking me through fever reducers. We got to do a further check. Give me a damn break. This dude's so stupid. <clears throat> he says, uh, he, he himself says it needs to be confirmed which coronavirus it is. So, how are you going to say that CBC or anybody else should be saying it's the Wuhan strain when you don't know? You just said it needs to be confirmed. You just said a whole bunch of people are going to get coronavirus, which we do. Don't sit out there, put out that, this dude, he's getting, he's, right now, he's getting lamer than Marfugel because of the fact he's supposed to be a med student. Like I said, I can't think of any way to check to see if he's actually still studying or maybe they kicked his ass out. Uh, <laughs> I googled it, you know, because he's saying that the CBC reporter should not be saying coronavirus, should be saying the Wuhan strain. I googled it. There's articles up to 10 days talking about this cruise ship where they are just saying coronavirus. They are not saying the Wuhan strain of coronavirus or whatever that new stupid name is they just came up with, COVID-19 or whatever. This dude is the most obvious, late. this dude's even more obvious as a dumb fuck than Marfugel is right now. And he spoke, remember, he's supposed to be a med student. And like I said, if he got kicked out, we could see why. Anyway, that's it. I just had to rag on Mr. Cottrell now. Bye-bye. <laughs>